Welcome to another enlightening journey on John Phoenix Will Just TV. Buckle up, sit back, and relax as we delve into the powerful sermon by Pastor Gina Jennings. In this episode, Pastor Gina Jennings shares an inspiring story about an NBA player who encountered the truth of God message. I received word out of uh, Portland, Oregon, NBA player. Used to play, uh, what's the uh, team, basketball team there in Portland, Oregon? Yeah, man, yeah, you Colonel Mines, you would know. I had to set you up, you know, I had to do that. Shit. This player was so deeply moved by the teachings that he went on to create a song. Yes, a song I say. Even mentioning Pastor Gina Jennings by name. It is a testament to the far-reaching impact of these teachings, resonating with people from all walks of life, including professional athletes. You will get to hear this remarkable story in the upcoming clip. It is no surprise that athletes are increasingly drawn to the truth of God broadcast, finding solace and direction in its message. In this video, Pastor Gina Jennings sounds the trumpets of warning and judgment, delivering a message that speaks directly to the soul. His powerful words remind us of the importance of heeding divine warnings and embrace the path of righteousness. Stay tuned for a message that promises to be both thought provoking and spiritually enriching. Remember you are watching John Phoenix Religious TV where faith and truth converge. I received word out of uh, Portland, Oregon, NBA player. Used to play, uh, what's the uh, team basketball team there in Portland, Oregon? Yeah, man, yeah, you Colonel Mines, you would know. I had to set you up, you know. I had to do that. Shit. I was hoping Williams would get it because he's the closest one to me. But yes, the, <laughs> the Trailblazers, the Trailblazers there in Portland. He was an NBA player there, I think, for about eight or eleven years, and he just got drafted to uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. And the Milwaukee Bucks. That's right, Nate. And uh, so. He been listening to the message, and I, I'm told that he's supposed to be some rapper. I don't know, but he made a song. What? And he included my name in the song. <laughs> he's supposed to be a Christian, but I think they take the text be part of the lyrics. He said, uh, "Gino Jennings is making me rethink my faith." No, I'm not making you. The word of God is making the world rethink their faith. That's right. Every NBA player, every NFL player, every baseball player, soccer, who, and boxer, athlete, period, athlete. who's professing to be this Christian, mm -hmm. and you have never repented of your sins, never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Never had the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue like the word of God said. You have never been born again since you pick up a baseball, football, soccer ball, basketball, a hockey stick, pool stick, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. One thing about God, he don't care how much money you have, nor your position in the earth. That's right. When God Almighty make a preacher, hallelujah, he send that preacher to the world. Amen. And God knows we're sent too, brother. Oh, yes. To let the world know to come on back to the Bible and do this thing right. Do it right. Amen. In fact, I believe his name is Damien uh, Dillard. 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 Lillard. Yes, that's his name. That's his name. Damien. In fact, I, uh, he said he desired to meet us in person. Wonderful. And uh, so they sent him an invitation to come for the dedication service of the uh, main auditorium. So Damien, you come on. I got a three-point shot loaded with Acts 238 here. Right. Amen. No, maybe it's all about it. Amen. When you, when you stop going to your false church, when you go to your false church, fake them out. Fake them out. Amen. I'm passing you Acts 238 now. You grab it, go and take God and get ready to do the hoop right to the water. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. He is not the first. He is not the first and only NBA player. There's been several, quite a bit of them, and then reached out to us and then came and visited. Because have you noticed all these sports athletes now claiming they're Christians? Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them will visit the church of God in Christ. Right. 
you know, like uh, the actor, what's his name, uh, Denzel Washington and uh, Chris uh, Tucker and what's the fella name who always cussing? Yeah, oh yeah, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> One of the greatest cussing actors out there. You know, they all claim they're Christians. Hang out with the church of God in Christ who don't preach to live holy. Right. And this is what God is uh, dealing with me moreover to wake creation up. Right. You can hide under the title Christian all you want. But it ain't none of you like Christ until you do it on his terms. That's right. If you don't do it on his terms, when you die, they can have the greatest fear or the greatest celebration all they want. When you stand before the judgment seat of God and here you see one on the throne, bless God who face outshines the sun itself. Oh, yes. And you hear his voice sounding like many waters. Oh, yeah. And that voice tell you personally, depart, depart, depart from, me, from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know you. Never knew you. That's going to be the worst time of your existence. To be rejected by the most high God. That's right. Amen. So you celebrities that's attracted to these mega churches like T.D. Snakes and Benny Hill and uh, the Church of God in Christ. It ain't none of them teaching you to how to be born again like the Bible says. How to walk with God like the Bible says. How to abstain from foreign and kids. Because if they was... You celebrities wouldn't be able to be there comfortable with your second wife, third wife, fourth wife, fifth wife. That's right. Wouldn't be able to do it. But these bishops not going to say nothing because no. they are impressed with you. Now here you're looking at a preacher made by hands of heaven that ain't impressed with nobody. Amen. You born of a woman like I am. You got to use the bathroom like I do. You got to take a bath like I do. And one day you're going to die and stand before God. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. You will understand that your money, your gold, your fleet of cars, and your fleet of prostitutes, and go your ahead. mansions, it won't help you. That's right. Because when you die, you going out the way you came in. Nigga, you came into the world. Naked. Oh, we'll take God and nigga, you shall return. That's right. Amen. So, Damien, you come on and bring several of your NBA players with you. Amen. And uh, all you, you, you basketball and football players, you come on. Yeah. The greatest touchdown you can make is when you go into the kingdom of God. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's the greatest touchdown you can make. Don't you see? Don't you see? God done handed us the scripture. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, go long. Go long. I'm throwing your Bible. Catch it, I said. Catch it. And when you catch it, obey it. Go ahead. You see, these preachers won't tell you what you should do because you are big multi-million dollar contributors. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you what the word of God say if you don't give a fake dollar. Hmm. I don't care what you don't give. You better give your soul before you die. That's right. Because it's going to be a sad hour when you stand before God.